Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. 95 and 1. Nice generic title screen that kind of looks crap, in my opinion. But, oh well. As we got push stop button right here. I can find it. So, yeah. This has 95 games on it, supposedly. And, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say this right now, most of these games aren't exactly original. Now, first thing to point out, this is of course a Famiclone system, which I'm sure a lot of people would know anyway. But I'm just pointing that out there for anyone who doesn't. But yeah, there are 95 games on here, except there isn't. I'll, I should point out what there is right now. I'm, I might as well show off the whole list right here, because you're probably not going to recognise most of these games from the titles. So, yeah. <laughs> great titles such as Neighborhood Smash and Flip Out, which is what I'm going to be doing when I play these games. And, yeah. Oh, okay, that's actually quite loud. At least on my end it is. I'm not sure how it sounds for you. For me, it's quite loud though, so I'm going to turn that down. Um, that should be fine, I would imagine. It might be a bit quiet on the video, but sod it. Now, if I try to load up Abacus. Yeah, it, it doesn't actually work. It just loads up the menu again, but the, <laughs> but the graphics are all glitchy. And hello, Pepe. I did not realize you was able to watch streams right now, but you won't notice someone kind of messed up with this. But anyway, let's reset. Actually, should I play all of these in order, or should I just play them in whatever order I like? Because... This is effectively a 94 in one, I think, because, of course, Abacus doesn't work. And, actually, no. Because I think, like, two or three of the other games are just variations of other games that are on here. And I will, no doubt, show that off. So, I might as well play the first few games, because the first couple are actually original, kind of. And by original, I mean they're programmed from scratch. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, Fun Click. Looks like the kid from, like, Harry Bro, whatever. You know, back when Harry Bo's adverts weren't entirely shit. Yeah. So, first we've got to notice, the sound on this is kind of messed up. I don't know if it's like that on the TV. I don't think it is. I think it's just some weird thing with a capture device has with this thing. This is something that I don't get, because this system is actually made by a company called ABL, or at least distributed by them. And for some reason, their stuff doesn't seem to work well with capture devices. Because I seem to remember the sound worked just fine on my TV. <laughs> Looks like it said fun click at first. Well, it kind of did on the menu. Yeah. Actually, oh, I want to see. Is there a way to quit this game? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I'll, I'll just play one game of it. This game really didn't take very long to play at all anyway. So, sod it. I don't really care. And, yeah. So, this is essentially... I'm not sure what the original of this is. I think it was something called Same Game, if I'm not mistaken. I've never played it. I have played a few variations of it on other things. Like, I played Collapse, which is, I think, a Flash version of it. From back in the days before the internet was complete shit. <laughs> yes, for a second it looked, it looked like it said Fun Lick. Okay, I didn't really see that myself. And... I'm sure I would have been the person to see that normally, so I'm guessing it really doesn't. But anyway, let's let's see how far I can get with this. Okay, that's it. 140 points. That's that's my new record. I want to see. Okay, yeah, there is no way to quit out of this. That kind of sucks. Because if I press select, it just restarts, and the A button doesn't do anything. So. Actually, no, I should point out, no, the B button doesn't do anything. I forgot the buttons are swapped on this, which is going to be really annoying for some of these games. I mean, I hate it when they swap the buttons. It's, like, there's no reason to do it other than to be a dick, basically. It's Box World. Not really going to play this one very long because it's just so caban. And this game is quite boring. I mean, oh, and the, what the hell happened to the... Seriously, what is it with the sound on this? Like, it just goes quiet randomly. Actually, let me check the sound levels right here. Actually, it seems to be a little bit too quiet, actually. Let's turn that up. Even though you probably won't want me to turn it up, considering some of the stuff coming up, but... Oh, well. And I should also point out, by the way, 
the way the controller is designed, it's designed like an arcade joystick almost. Which I suppose makes sense with some of the games on here, but for stuff like this, it really doesn't, like, at all. So, yeah. I'm just going to finish this first level, or second level, sorry. <laughs> this game is so dull, I didn't even realise I'd be two levels of it, but, okay. Let's reset that. <laughs> fun click. Yeah, fun miles. Okay. UFO race, let's do it. <laughs> Press start, or press select to select the different levels. Okay, here we go. God knows how you control this with an arcade joystick. Oh, wow! Okay, I've, okay. first we've got to notice, because I might be wrong, but I think usually with this hack, they usually spell score wrong, like they spell a scrub for some reason. But this time around, they actually they actually um, go around to fixing it, which is quite nice. Uh, is this supposed to, yeah, there, there is supposed to be sound, actually. Um, oh, wait, I can't pause this? I'm Okay, I'm mashing the stop button, there's not pausing. Even though I'm pretty certain in the original you could. Okay, Yo, I'll turn the sound up after I'm done with this game. Um, I do apologize, but... If, I, if the game would let me pause, I would totally do it now, but the game has decided to be kind of a dick, so I can't really do that. Thankfully, this first level is pretty easy, as long as you know that you can, you know, as long as you know you have gears, even though I'm, I'm not sure, would a UFO have gears? I guess it would, because that kind of makes sense, I suppose. Well, actually, no, I don't think it would. I, I, I don't know, I know sod all of it, space travel. I've never been to space. You know, I've no intentions of going to Mars, unless Donald Trump gets elected president, but, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I beat the level. Let's turn the sound up. Okay, set it up to 30. That should be about right. Okay. So, is it better now? Because I, cause I would have thought that setting it to 30 might have made it too lowered, but I did turn the sound down on my end, so that might have effect. Yeah, that might have uh, kind of, yeah, unbalanced, <laughs> unbalanced out, I guess. I cannot talk today. More so than usual. Yeah, this game is quite boring, so I'm going to move on. Well, it's not boring, it's just... I guess the PAL speed kind of makes it boring to me. Obstacle race. Great. <laughs> Obstacle race. Or, I guess, ob OBS... Oh, OBS plus ACL race. Well, I'm using OBS to do the stream, but... Yeah, well, ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> okay. So this is just Zippy Race, except all they've done is change the music a little bit. Do 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 do. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that because that would be quite annoying after a bit. Oh no, I'm stuck. This is it's kind of funny. These games are harder to play with the joystick, like because I'm used to playing these with like a controller. So yeah, I did I said Zippy Race, didn't I? I could have sworn I did. Uh, okay, what is this? Playing games. Okay, I'm going to have to look at that in a bit. I could pause the game, but... I want to... Because I, I seem to remember... I'm not sure if it's this version of the game or if it's like a different version of it. But I seem to remember the game gets unplayable when you get to the desert level. Because it's like... They like deleted some of the graphics, so you can't actually really, like see the stuff you're trying to avoid. Which, as you might imagine, makes it kind of impossible to get anywhere. Uh. Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to say, I could have sworn I said Zippy Race. God knows what else I would have said. Ah. Oh, yeah, uh, of course the delay, I keep forgetting that. Uh. <sighs> see, this game is kind of annoying. Like, it's not really bad. Like, I... It's one that, like, this isn't really a great game, but at the same time, it's one I'll play, it's one that I'll play if I'm bored. I have, like, I have beaten this game before, at least, which is more than I can say for some of the <sighs> This is really annoying, though, because sometimes, the problem with this game is that the AI is a dick, it really is, because it's like, half the time, you just cannot pass it at all, and it's like, <sighs> so look, how am I supposed to, oh, okay, I guess I could do that. But I'm pretty sure I just got lucky there, to be fair. Oh, and it was made to the end of the level. Oh, well. 
So it's just the same tune from the original, except somehow even more annoying than the original. And that, that is saying a lot, because the original tune was really annoying. This is even worse, especially with that distortion that it's got for like the um, recorder. And I don't really understand, why is the tune so short anyway in the original? And also, why is it so like distorted anyway? I really don't get that. <laughs> I thought they just cut out some of the notes for some reason. You know what, I'm going to eat a crepe, because crepes are great. Actually, no, I should probably wait until I've played this, I suppose. Well, made it to Las Vegas. At least I didn't change that. Yeah, here we go. I remember this now. <laughs> the music is... Yeah, it's kind of funny. The music's even... Like, the music wasn't great in the original, but it is far better than it is in this. Actually, I think they might have fixed it in this one, actually. Because I can, because I'm not dying randomly like I do normally in this hack. Or it was a hack of this game. I'm not sure if it's the same one. And I died. Okay. Not really much more to show with that. I might, to be honest, I might play some of these games further. But okay. Boat race. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I will promise you, the music does normally sound at least a little bit better on... Like, when I'm playing it off my TV, it sounds at least a little bit better than it does here. Okay. And, okay, the engine sound is kind of... I'm pretty sure it sounds normal when playing it on the TV. Oh, God. Yeah, I forgot this version is a lot harder than the original. Because, if it, you know what's funny? I swear to God, I remember Shazam saying that Road Fight is impossible... Because he played, like, the hack version that changed the level design that makes it impossible. And I told him, no, you should go play the original because it's not impossible. I mean, it's hard when you get to, like, level 3, but... You know, I have... Like, I've beaten a couple of loops of Road Fighter before, so... Yeah, it's fair to say it's not really impossible, at least not on the original. Like, this might be doable if you play it, like, a million times. But I seem to remember this game just gets pretty much impossible on level 2, I think. Okay. Oh. 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 Bugger. <laughs> Got of them graphics too. It looks... Looks amazing. Okay, it's... Xbox 1 out of 10. That's what I'm going to give this. Oh. Pff. How am I supposed to avoid that? That's just... That's just mean. <laughs> we have this guy drive straight into you because he's a git. And avoid the... I don't get what a barge is doing here, but... Okay. Then again, I mean, in Road Fighter, you, you have to avoid, like, trucks and stuff, and open manholes. Which is great. Of course, let's see how far I can get in this, actually, before I die. Something tells me I'm going to die about 20 seconds into this level. Because I remember this being impossible. This is, like, level 3 from the original game. Except somehow even worse. Like, how are you supposed to do this? Like, seriously. Oh, give me that. Oh, oh, oh. I think what you got to remember with this is just a slow down. Except, of course, there was no way to avoid that. Okay, I swear there was, the, like, the ground texture there is... I swear to God they took that from some other game. I think it might be Super Contra. Or, I don't know. But I definitely recognize that from something else. I just can't place it at the moment. Like, I'm probably going to look at this. Like, I'm going to re-watch the stream later and then... Realize, oh, it was this game. But right now... Seriously, how are you supposed to do this? Okay, this is impossible. And like I said, I have beaten Road Fighter before, so... It's like, I don't get... Like, why would they change the game just to make it, like, harder? Like, I guess it's to make the game less recognizable, but you think they would at least try to keep it at about the same difficulty? But apparently not. Yeah. Of course, there was no way to avoid crashing there. See, again... No way to avoid crashing there, it's, it's impossible, like, literally. And, okay, the sound just broke, so that's great. Son of a great game is when the sound just goes... Durr. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing, just... Durr. Okay. What's the next game? Uh, oh, yeah, I can't play these. 
yeah, these next five games, these are all light gun games. So we've got... So essentially these are, I think, World Gunman, Hogan's Alley, Duck Hunt, Duck Hunt, and the all-time classic that is Duck Hunt. In fact, let, let me show off one of these. Let's go for Space 2050. Yeah, um, as you can tell, <laughs> it's just Duck Hunt, the crap, essentially. I mean, can you imagine Space 2050 in Splash Brothers? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't want say that. And yeah, I can't play this. This thing did come with a light gun, but I can't really um, use it on anything, and that kind of sucks. I assume the game works fine, though, so... But yeah, I don't get... Like, what would they put three different versions of Duck Hunt? Or three hacks of Duck Hunt? It doesn't make any sense. And Okay, is the sound broken or... Because I would have thought that turning the sound up to what it is now would be, like, enough. But, okay. Okay, so let's load up A for Tiger. Yay. Okay, so this is 1942, as you can tell from the awful music. You know, it's kind of funny. They don't even bother changing the music on this one, even though it's already complete shit to begin with. Ah, okay, that sounds quiet. Um, oh, and of course I pressed the A button by accident because of the way the controls are. Uh, 50, is that better? Okay, this is the maximum I'm going to turn it up to. I'm just going to check just to see if it... Just to see if it's loading off. Actually, yeah, I get the feeling that might actually drown out my voice. And to be honest, like, yeah, I do these things for commentary more than anything. Okay, you know what? To be honest, one day I might just um, record this without my commentary. But the thing is, if I was to record this without commentary, I would rather it have decent sound quality, and the problem is, because of the way this thing is designed, I just simply can't do that at the moment. And that is kind of a shame. Actually, why am I... Okay, I don't know why I'm mashing the button where I can just press the, the Y button, which is just Turbo B. And yes, this game... <laughs> I love this, by the way. It's a space theme, and yet you have these, like, planes that are clearly just... They didn't even bother to change them. Like, they changed everything else, apart from that. And it's kind of funny, because aside from that, this actually isn't a bad hacking job. I mean, it, granted, it would have been far better if they changed the god-awful music. Although, granted, they would have probably found a way to make it even worse. But, oh well. Duh. 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 It, I mean, granted, the musical... I don't think the music would have really sounded great no matter who did it. But, it's even so, this could have been done way better, I think, on the NES. Okay, so I think I might try to beat the first level at least, and then just move on, I suppose. I know there are bosses in this game, but I think you have to beat, like, is it like six levels before you get to the first boss? It's like, okay, I'm not going to play that far just for a boss in this. Especially seeing because I'd be too crap to actually get that far anyway, so. Oh no, like honestly, I would much rather just play 1943, because that one is, it is just better. It's just a better game. It's, I mean, it has far better music for a start, and you know, better graphics, better controls, better gameplay, better frame rate. It's kind of funny, all these, like, Micronix ports. In fact, all the games Micronix did for the NES, they always had a terrible frame rate, regardless of how good the game itself was. Usually, they weren't that great. This one, actually, don't mind. I don't know. I think it's just because it's... I don't know, the gameplay is just kind of... I don't know, it's good enough, in my opinion. Like, it doesn't really frustrate me that much. It's just kind of... I just kind of play it every now and then, just see how far I can get through, you know, dying. It almost sounds like it could be a football chant. You fat, poi eating bastard. Or something. Oh yeah, Kid Nick 3 did have a decent frame rate. I forgot about that. Oh, wow, that, <laughs> that sounded terrible. Just... Also, why am I landing on, like, malformed craters whenever it be level? 
Okay. Well, the game isn't really going to change up, I don't think, so let's just move on. I love this title screen, by the way. It's just 95 in 1. <laughs> like, why even bother having a title screen? They might as well just put 95 in 1 on the top of this screen. And also, I've just I've just remembered the um, the background on the menu is actually taken from... I think it's totally rad, if I remember correctly. At least, like, the castles and the mountains are taken from that. Kind of makes a wish Totally Rad was on this thing, so I could just play that instead. But now we have Archery. So this is... Puyan, I think. Yeah. Well, at least they make the music sound crap in this one. <laughs> well, kind of. But, uh... Should I play all this? Honestly, I've never really got into this game all that much. Which, I don't know. This is definitely one of the better games on here, though. As in, it's actually fun to play for a little bit. But I've got into it quite as much as a lot of games. Some of which we'll be seeing later, of course. That's not to say I can't beat it. <laughs> now, of course, there are some crap games in here, too. Some games that were just crap to begin with. So, yeah. I look forward to playing those. In fact, you could probably see one of them, which I will be playing. <laughs> just from the, um stream info thing. So that should, yeah. Okay, I got both of them. You can get hit by those things, by the way, which is kind of annoying. So I should get the fish now. Yeah. Yeah, eat that. Yeah, this game is quite fun, actually. It's just, I don't really play it much. I don't know. I don't really feel the need to play it most of the time. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Maybe that's just me, but... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you do not. I remember they get shields later on, it's kind of annoying. Or like, the blocky shots or whatever it is. What the hell are these things? Are they like the Pringles guy? <laughs> Where your mustache at? I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, they didn't even bother like, switching the music. Oh, you know what, let's do this. I remember later on you get you get ones where they have like different coloured umbrellas or whatever. What were the, I think they were balloons in the original, weren't they? I think. I don't quite remember. But I'm sure they were. But you see like they block all my shots. It's like you have to shoot them several times before you can actually hit them. Uh, okay, I shot a little bit prematurely there. Yeah, okay. Oh, where are you curling moustache at? There you go. <laughs> I might as well collect this. I got him. We gotta do this. Oh what? I didn't know you could do that. I've got I didn't realize they could bounce off the umbrellas in this. Okay. As long as I can get rid of all these, I will. Come on, do it, do it. Ooh, nice. This game gets quite tense actually. And it's really just because the the it's like you have to like. Get rid of the shield. Ooh, nice. I got a third one there. Uh, oh God. See, you know it's kind of funny because this is because recently everyone's just been hating on Konami, and this kind of brings back to a time when they were actually good. Oh, bastard. See, this is what bugs me too. It's like every time. Every time one of them gets up, you have to, like, shoot more of them, which is bullshit. It should just be, you know, if they get up, then you just miss. Okay, but of course the game decides to do this stupid shit. So look at this, how are you supposed to defeat that guy? It's impossible. And of course the game isn't going to give me any more than fish things, or whatever they are. Oh yeah, we're just going to make it completely impossible, because that's fun, I guess. Even though it isn't, because that's just... See, this is why I don't play this game much, because of this bullshit difficulty spike. So, you know what? Fuck this game. I ain't playing that shit again. <laughs> Let's play a game that doesn't suck. Zero gravity. Because this game is just Balloon Fight. And Balloon Fight is a game I do play. Mainly because I can actually get somewhere in it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And 
yeah, this is just Balloon Fight. <laughs> There's not much to say about it. And Balloon Fight itself was just a rip-off of Joust, but, you know, Balloon Fight was better than Joust, because it just controlled better, I think. And that, you know... Oh, no, I kind of put the level designs in this. They seem to vary up a little bit more. Okay. Oh, no. To be fair, I think I probably played this before Joust, but I can't quite remember. I might have had him on those compilation things as a kid. Okay. Get over here so I can defeat you. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do the bonus stage and then move on, I guess. Because it's like, what else is there really say about this game? It's freaking Balloon Fight. And Balloon Fight is a classic game. Oh, ooh. Can I get the perfect bonus? Probably not. Getting the perfect bonus, like, even if, even if you, like, get used to the physics and all that, just seems to be kind of the look of the draw half time, where, as to, like, if the ball, like, if the bubbles spawn in such a way that you can't actually hit all of them. Maybe there's, maybe there's, maybe that is never technically the case, but, I don't know. Sometimes I just can't do it because of the way they're positioned, but, I managed to do it this time, so, whatever. Oh. Okay, seem to glitch out right there, the music. Okay, well, I think I'm done with this. <laughs> it's kind of free. They changed that one music cue and didn't bother to change anything else. Well, I mean, they changed the graphics, but still. Anyway, I'm going to move on. Oh, actually, I should have shown, like, the fish death thing, but sod it. Super Elf. Great. Is this going to be that new Link game? <laughs> or, no. I say New Link game. New Zelda game, of course. Because that's what they're nominally called. Okay, so it's just Circus Charlie. But, except you play as... Is it Baby Bonk, I think? I never actually played Baby Bonk, or whatever the game was called he was in. I don't quite remember. I know it was a Turbo Graphics... Oh, okay, I messed that up. Yeah. By the way, I love the, I love the way the sky is rendered. It's just... Like, I'm over in space right now. Or, I don't know, maybe the background is just like a cutout. Like, I'm in the Truman Show right now, and they forgot to paint the ceiling. Oh, okay, they are from Walkman. I didn't even... Okay, so yeah, the enemies are from Walkman. I didn't even notice that until now. <laughs> Again, that's probably just because I don't play Walkman very often, because I don't really care for it that much. But yeah, I beat the first level. Oh, Yes. So we go celebrate a victory. Okay. Oh, okay, and now the music's back to normal, and apparently the sky is back to normal too, because it's not like cut off halfway. Like you think they could have made the rest of the sky blue in the first level, but I guess not. I guess they couldn't be bothered to do that. Okay, and I'm jumping through these rings of sea urchins or whatever. Okay. Oh no. Maybe, maybe Walkman is a decent game. It's just I never really bothered to play it much. <laughs> Get, like to me it just seems like I don't know, like a Bomb Man ripoff with some other gameplay to it or something. Like maybe it's not a ripoff of Bomb Man, but I'm sure it came out after that game, so Yo, let's play it safe this time. Ooh, get over here, Mr. Ring. I'm the Ring Master. Okay, I I can do this. Come on, let me do it. <laughs> sea urchin gonads, what? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, God. Am I getting ice cream in a bit? We'll see. I might have to pause the stream while I eat the ice cream and probably watch a YouTube video or something. I want to see what the next level is. I guess it's just like the... the ball level, <laughs> or whatever it's called. Uh, wait, oh, the arcade version of Bomb Walkman came before Bombman. I haven't played the arcade version, so I can't really say anything about it. Oh, uh, how am I just making these? Uh, no, I do not want... To... Why would you ever jump straight up on this? That makes no sense. It's just, oh, you can do this even though there's literally no reason to even bother. Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. I want to see how hard the uh, the next level is. Because I know the next level, it's like you have to jump through... Oh, what the 
hell was it called? The trampolines. Oh, yeah, of course, I forgot about the picture. <laughs> I'll do that once I'm done playing this. Um, remind me to, like... Okay, well, I guess I died anyway, so I suppose it doesn't really matter now. Oh, God! <laughs> you... Okay, let me resize this. Just... Wait. That face... I'm sure his face looked different on the picture that I based that on. Because I remember the the picture that I got it from was from, like, um... It was like, buy it now, this item is in stock. But, okay. So let's restart, because I'm terrible at that game. Baseball! How oh, good. Um, <laughs> well, I'm totally going to suck at this game. Yay, baseball. With glitchy music. So we can be... Okay, well, I can't be the C's, but I can be the D's, the G's, the S's, the T's, and the W's. Well, I'm going to be... Let's be G. Because it ain't nothing but a G fang. Like, ooh, other pick. What is this? So I'm just playing in a field in the middle of nowhere. Okay. And, of course, it has to be pitching. Because pitching is... I don't get this, like... Because the pitching in this game is... Well, actually, the game in general is pretty boring. Like... I'm not exactly an expert on baseball games, but this one is pretty bad, I would say. It's just not very fun to play, it's just, it's slow and boring. And it's just like, you really have no control over the field in Burke. I managed to get out, but some, for, <laughs> somehow I managed to get out. I think, I think this sums up the game. Ooh. I might save that, actually, once I'm done with this. I'm not going to play that anymore, because I can't be bothered. I mean, it's baseball. It's it's a mediocre baseball game. What else is it to say about it? Future Copter. Okay. Great music. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so Okay, so every time I shoot something, the music restarts. That's... That's that's great program right there. Oh, actually, did they kill you? If this, did they like spawn kill you in this? I don't know. Okay, I don't even know what I picked. Oh, okay, I got an upgrade. Nice. Die. Okay, let's get the heart. Whatever that does. Like, I have no idea what these things do because they have different icons in this. But I think that gave me a shield. So let's just beat the first level and dump it. I mean, Bell City is a cool game, but, um, what's this? Oh, okay, that protects the base. I was kind of expecting it to be, like, the overshield thing, or whatever it is, that the hack versions add to this game. Okay. So, level one complete. Stage one, whatever. Yep, it's just Bell City with different graphics and music that constantly restarts for some reason. So, great. Yep, that's totally fun. Yep, <laughs> I'm gonna skip that. So let's play some Diamond. Oh yeah, this game. This is basically just a really crappy version of Arkanoid. Uh, this... Yeah, I should put it... This is programmed from scratch. And you can probably tell this because the controls... Well, the controls don't suck. The, um, the physics in this is just awful. Like, the ball literally just bounces in random directions half the time. It's like... Oh, I have to swing... Oh, okay, it actually worked that time. But sometimes it doesn't, because the game sucks. Because, you know, Arkador is kind of based on having good physics. So when you take those good physics out of the game, and yes, I am playing crap, but whatever. When you take those good physics out of the game, it just kind of makes it pointless, because you don't want to play it, because the game plays terribly. Oh, and... I don't get... Why does the sound go quiet sometimes? It doesn't make any sense. I think it's just plug and play itself being crap, but, um... Uh, oh, no. Oh, you bastard. Yeah. Well, yeah, the music in this isn't bad. I mean, it would be better if it wasn't, like, a 15-second loop, but still. That's, like, the best part of this game. Well, actually, I suppose the graphics aren't too bad. They're 
almost on a par with real walking weight. <laughs> Which doesn't really say much, but okay, I'm going to skip that. Because I can't bother to play it. Match in. Oh, God. Yeah. Match up the cards, because this totally isn't boring. Who the hell wants to play this? Oh, I'm going to play a game where you match up cards for 30 seconds. Yeah, that's totally fun. Not boring at all. Yeah, i got 21 seconds to flow, and I have done it. I have won. <laughs> the first game I beat, and it's a freaking matching game. That's great. Real great for my self-esteem. Tennis. Okay. <laughs> I see a witchy censored thing. That's one of the... I hate how Twitch censors stuff. It's like... If I had the option, I would just disable censorship thing. Because... Okay, fuck political correctness. Seriously. Also, if you ass, I jump back and roll with the girl. Sup, sup, I'm smacking the hoe. Word to your moms, I came to drop bombs, I got more rhymes and the bottles got songs. And just like the prodigal son, I've returned. Anyone stepping on me will get burned, cause I got lyrics but you ain't got none. If you come to battle with a shotgun, but if you do, you're a fool, cause I duel to the death. Trying to step to make you take your last breath. I got the skill, come get your fill, cause when I shoot to give, I shoot to kill. I came to get down, I came to get down, so get out your seat and jump around. Jump around. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do that anymore. But yeah, it's just tennis with Master Higgins on the side for some reason. I, I don't really get that. But let's move on because, like, well, I mean, the game isn't bad, but it's not really that great of. Anyway, Gold Digger. You know, I, I am tempted to do the song Gold Digger, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I think you've heard enough singing from me already. Actually, it's kind of funny because I have been listening to House Pain recently. You're. I know I've done this before, but I'm going to collect the letters that describe this game pretty well. Actually, no. This this game is an insult to anal. It's, it's far more enjoyable than this game will ever be. <laughs> and yeah, if you, don't, if you don't know, this game is Super Arabian. Which, if you haven't played it, it is a really, 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 exceptionally, but also really terrible game. It is... One of the worst games I've ever played. It seriously is, because this game just, it controls terribly. The gameplay just does not work at all. It seriously doesn't. In fact, you know, if the gameplay wasn't so bad, I probably would be singing Gold Digger right now. But when you have gameplay that's as bad as this game, I kind of just have to focus on it more than anything else. 